Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2 playing Opening Blitz. It's November 23rd, 1943. The US 5th Army remains in disarray following the sudden rapid German offensive aimed at Naples. The Allied forces on the peninsula are scrambling to bring more troops to the country. Efforts are being taken to quickly form and reactivate Italian units to fight on the side of the Allies. The German 10th Army has devised a daring plan to take advantage of this chaotic situation. And... Okay. The plan is simple. Breach the thin defenses of the disorganized American 5th Army and hurry south to the Straits of Messina as quickly as possible. If resistance gets too stiff, bypass the enemy through less defended mountain passes and roads. The Italian traders have picked up some resolve following the destruction of the Aki Division. Remind them who they are dealing with. Cosenza 5, Cotton 06, Cortone 7, Reggio Calabria 10. Montalto 11, Scalone Pass, turn 4, Scanzano 5, Belvedere 5. Alright, let's start with these. And yeah, you're fine with that. Come on, yeah. do this, give you this, and this. Come on, this. You go there. Hummels all around. Unless I want Boombar. 6 8 armor artillery. Nah. Uh, you're 200. Yeah. Yes. How many? I have four German armor. Then I need to strip you of one because each two armor is deployed for one step. Oh, I forgot to build this, and let's just do that. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Supplies. Okay. I would like those three uh, threes, but I don't like them potentially destroying the bridge either. So I would, because the bridge is on this hex, so I need to grab this hex technically, at the very least. Daddy needs some new shoes. somewhat sucky to get through it like this but I also don't want to weaken my units too much this is I guess probably pretty easy to beat now. I 
I didn't want to um, lose my engineering step on R3, whereas this is just losing infantry. I got my reel from there, not from up there, so... It's okay. Ah, shoot, should have moved them. That is rather unfortunate. Hey, hey. I'm actually going to go to one to place it somewhere else. And... to put you here, you here, then this, dim this one down, and take this. Next are Scanzano and Belvedere by turn five. See if I can get anything better out of it. Two at least is better than a five there. Why can't oh you're out of range? Ah. Okay, so I, c I can't do that anymore. I can still get some other units in there. No retreat, day. Eh? Fair enough. Oh, I need to lower the sound again. There we go. Let's gamble. And we failed. Of course. <clears throat> I mean, it shouldn't come as a surprise that every 0 and 3 is actually... Or every 3 roll is actually a 1-1. One, one and nothing else. 
Hmm. I'd actually rather you attack on this side. It suck because it does mean that I just lost some prestige there. On that. Are they out of spy? Yes, they are. Okay, so these guys are also crushed now. Hmm. Definitely not taking my chances there. Well, I'm fine doing that. Um, okay, so you'll be taking care of those. These guys are the trickiest. And <clears throat> yeah, they've they've already attacked, so I just do this. This <clears throat> this and just to get my units moving and although I might actually have to stay here and block that part of the route Already can no longer move them back, unfortunately. Yeah, I actually should have killed these. Huh. It's a good thing they don't come back. If I get you in here, I can get you through the pass here, which hopefully allows me to move you down and take Belvedere, cut off whatever force they have here with the Free French. <clears throat> I guess that's that's gonna be it. Um, not super amazing up here, but now that I've taken this, that should be a bit easier. I don't think they're gonna go up there. That cuts off whatever force they have in there. Um, Belvedere is not a hold objective, which is quite good. Okay. 
Really would have liked. No, they can't do anything more anyway. I need to get this railroad going. But. That certainly will not help me. I mean, it sucks that I have to take damage there, but... <clears throat> as long as I keep pretending like uh, I'm not going to take any damage on a 3, that's... Uh, interesting, I guess. I'd rather hoped to <clears throat> indeed have been able to take it now. I'm a bit afraid they are going to attack me. I set myself up this way to attack these and Keep everything else in check, I guess.
Done. Uh, the tricky part is I will still not be able to get supplies over to Scanzano. A bit unfortunate I had to spend uh, those tanks there. The interesting thing is that I can indeed do that down here and They will still only be cut off for two turns. Get them on the road. I guess they have to, or They'll get our supply. Um, <laughs> yeah, I could deploy them here, huh? But these guys are also... Hmm. 
I guess they could be useful. In here. Uh, it will at least be able to repair that bridge, but not that it matters too much. The good thing is I got these bridges. Nothing again. All right. Sweet, so they got the veteran. Got the veteran. I have to say, I'm fairly disappointed by all this mud. Like, there's really a 0% chance I'm getting through here, even with this elite unit, because of the, the mud now, I guess. Maybe also because of these. Oh, and four. <laughs> Obscene. Right, I'm not even getting ahead in there, so... Whatever I'm supposed to do here is pretty easy. For now. And if I just keep my flying artillery, I can use that down there. So I don't know what they got down there. I could take Cortone pretty easily at this point. Next turn, I should be having those supplies operational. I can already resupply them now, that's great. And I can remove that from the equation altogether. Let's move these back into supplies, supply range here. This mod has been pretty tricky and these French have been uh, quite tough there too. When is this? Turn six. I wonder if I, I probably will not be able to get all the way there. They cannot deploy there, and the other U.S. troop will also be able to deploy down there. I would have to gamble that these guys cannot reach Crescenza. Huh. Okay. Well, they couldn't reach it, but... <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> okay. Almost seems as if the mud is following my units. Surely they will not have any other unit in here. I guess I didn't even have to move those guys in that direction. Interesting, they, interesting that they are on that particular mountain hex like that. Uh. Still. I'm gonna gamble they have nothing there. Not that I would immediately lose it again. But... Since they are out of supply... No. This kinda sucks, not gonna lie. empty indeed. Let's move the infantry first. If I attack this, oh, I didn't even get a uh, destroyed city. That does make things pretty e <coughs> interesting there. Let's try to take the other part of Messina too, just for fun. Okay, Montato will be out of supply now. And the thing I need to get there is infantry. It's like one, two, three, four, and eight. One, two, three, four, nine. Technically, I could get a unit there on turn 10 under these conditions. And that should do the trick, so... Very nice. Okay, that's very good.
There we go. And there too. That's a pretty good move. Mm, by this stage, I might just as well go for the free option. Rails is also working. And the rest of these units should just get onto the rail, which they are. Okay, I think I already have full suppression here. So let's get them right next to Montalto. And then take it with the Kabir Shaker. <clears throat> Sweet. Oh yeah. I have to retake Messina too. Uh, there we go. Let's end it. Guten Abend, Messina. Take the Montalto Objective Aberdeen Blitz. Since September 1943, British troops crossed the Straits of Messina and landed in Calabria. Mere months later, one can see the Sicilian coast, the Reggio Calabria, from mountain peaks, with no Allied soldiers in sight. Very nice. Uh, so, let's take a look at the strategic map. And this. Now we have two more missions remaining. We have Feuerzauber over here to take Leningrad with this link up. And then in the uh, Mediterranean, after retaking this, I still have to deal with the remainder of these forces.
This is January 13th, 1944, huh? And in the north, this is January 14th. So I will do Sal Salerno, Toronto first. Seems like this didn't move anymore, which is very weird. You would think that at the very least, this also still either moves back or something else. But I don't think the Soviets would completely stop attacking the moment that nothing, you know, the moment they're done. Um, AOK-9 has pontoon bridges to logistics. Let's just leave it at this. I don't think I need set piece attack for 100 in total. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.